Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another instalment of VGU News! I'm Don the Expert of Calls from VideoGamesUncovered.com and let's have a look at what's happening in the world of gaming. Now, if you are a fan of DayZ and a fan of all the devs that put their heart and soul into it, this may be a sad day for you because Dean Rocket Hall announces his step back from lead on DayZ. Oh, it is a sad day indeed. The news emerged the other day when Eurogamer had the chance to interview him. Paul has made it clear that the game development will go on and he has left the game in the hands of his team who are currently working on the project. Dean had talked about leaving Bohemia before, but after the unexpected success of Daisy's early access release, decided to stick with his title until the end of 2014. He came out saying this, Originally I wasn't going to do this year, but it would be stupid not to, and it would be unfair to the community. I have to be on the project as long as it's important to. Whether the role is as the leader, whether that role is in a more creative sense. But at a certain point there will be diminishing returns. As well as that, he also came out saying that he believed that Daisy was a flawed concept, stating this, I feel like DayZ is a fundamentally flawed concept and I've always recognised that. It's not the perfect game, it's not the multiplayer experience, and it never can be, with the absolute spark that I want in it. It is sad to see the head of DayZ sadly leaving it, but there is talks about him potentially joining another company, creating his image of what DayZ could have been. Could involve zombies, could involve mummies, could Im involve dragons for we know, it could literally be anything. But that's just speculation at this point. It is heavily sad. I hope Dean Rocket Hall, as well as the rest of us here at VGU, does incredibly well for himself, whatever he decides to do in his future ventures. And I'm still going to enjoy the Daisy early access. It's constantly being patched up. I'm looking forward to when it gets fully released. I understand why he can see it as a flawed concept. But will it be flawed and release? There's only one way to find out, and that's to keep looking into it. So until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in to VGU News. Be sure to let us know what you think about this tragic leaving situation in the comments below. And be sure to tune in next time for some more VGU News.